crochet cousins you're watching la shonda rice she is the owner author and doll designer of the christian crochet addict <laughs> This pattern was created in support of nursing mothers as well as Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is in October. The materials I'm using is chocolate from I Love This Yarn for the nipple areola area. For the breast, I'm using Cafe with Red Heart. Scissors, tapestry needle, a size 5 millimeter hook, aka a size H, polyester fiber fill, and a stitch marker. I like to use yarn. Go ahead and make a magic circle or chain two. We will be starting with the nipple area. So whatever color you chose to start with that area is the yarn that you are going to grab. Let's place a six single crochet in the magic circle or you can place six single crochet in the second chain from the hook. If you're doing the magic circle like I am, make sure you pull it closed very tightly and secure it with a knot. We will not be chaining up. We will be continuing in a round. We will not be doing panels. So just follow along. Now we're gonna place two single crochet in each stitch. At the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. Round three, we are going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. We're going to do this for two rows. So for round three and four, one single crochet in each stitch. Round five, we're gonna place one single crochet in the first stitch, then two single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat this sequence and I will see you at the end of round five. Round six, you're gonna place one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, and then you're gonna place two single crochet in that third stitch. Repeat this sequence, one, one, two. Now, wait a minute, do not cut your yarn. I repeat, do not cut your yarn, do not do what I'm doing. You know how they say, do as I say, not as I do. Please don't cut your yarn. You are going to continue your rounds with the same color. I did not realize that I made it very small. So the next increase rows, the next three increase rows, you are going to use the same color. Do not switch colors. Don't do as I'm doing. Do as I say. So we are going to do this next round with one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, and then one single crochet in the third stitch and the last stitch i'm sorry i'm moving really slow that fourth stitch we're going to place two single crochets so one single crochet in the first second and third stitch and then we're going to place two in the fourth stitch do not change your color i repeat Okay, we are about to move on to round eight. You don't have to do this because you shouldn't have changed your color. But this is something that I like to do to keep it a seamlessly color change. Instead of putting two in the last stitch, I put one in the last stitch and one in the next row. So obviously I would have to move my stitch marker at this point. So you're going to do this when you change color, all right? So let's just continue. I don't want to confuse you. This is round eight. We're going to place one single crochet in the first stitch one in the second stitch, 
one in the third stitch and then we're going to do one in the fourth stitch in the fifth stitch we're going to place two single crochet continue to repeat this around to the stitch marker that is one single crochet in the next four stitches and two in the fifth stitch We are on round nine again please do not change your color you're going to continue with the increased rows placing one single crochet in the next five stitches and two in the sixth stitch So I didn't realize that I was still recording for this round. Just hang with me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are on round 10. This is going to be your last round in this color. We're going to place one single crochet in the next six stitches. And on the seventh stitch, we're going to place an increase of two stitches and repeat this around. Again, this is our last round in this particular color. Do as I say, not as I do. And then there will be no more confusion because you will be changing color. Alrighty, I will see you at the end of this round. Okay guys, it's the moment that you all been waiting for. Let's start the breast area. Go ahead and change colors and we're gonna place one single crochet in the next seven stitches, then two in the eighth stitch. You should know the pattern by now. You should understand what we're doing on these increased rows. We're going to continue to do these increases until we get to the 15th increase. What I mean by that is we're currently doing one single crochet in the next seven stitches and then two in the eighth stitch. You're going to keep doing this on each round. So next round you're going to single crochet for eight and then put an increase in nine. We're gonna do that all the way up to the 15th increase row. Okay, we are now on round 12. You're going to single crochet in the next eight stitches and place two single crochets in the same stitch. You're going to continue with these increased rows. You should get the format that we're doing here. Each round we go up a number and then place two single crochets in the same space. When you get to the 19th row, which is increase round 15, you are going to continue to do simply single crochets. Congratulations. If you have made it to this point, that means that you have finished round 15 of your increased rounds. Now we are going to work a single crochet in each stitch for the next six rounds. So from round 20 to round 25, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch. Once you are finished with round 25, round 26, we're going to start our decrease rounds. We're going to place one single crochet in the next 15 stitches, then decrease. Then round 27, one single crochet in each stitch for the next 14 stitches, then decrease. Continue to do this stuff as you go and sew it close. Again, forgive me. Hopefully you understood the last few rounds. Okay, crochet cousins, here's how your booby pillow should look. I know some of you are saying like, oh my gosh, she made a breast. Yes, I did. And so will you. How exciting is that? In honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is in October, also in support of nursing mothers, this pillow design was created. It also makes a great gag gift for the holidays. So go ahead and create your booby pillow. Tag me in it. I love to see when you guys tag me in it. It makes me feel extra special. I want to continue to create free content for you. Like, share, subscribe, and follow.